Well, the name has become synonymous with seafood here in Maryland, and tonight Phillips is back open in Baltimore's Inner Harbor, but now it has a new location. ABC2 News' is Christian Schaefer is there live with that story, and I can smell the crab cakes from here, Christian. <laughs> Yeah, Rose, that new location is big. I'm standing outside the power plant here. It used to house the ESPN zone. I just talked to the general manager of Phillips. I just came out a few moments ago, and he said they don't release financial figures for how the first night went, but he says there were no major issues, no foul-ups, so everything went smoothly after 30 years in the Light Street Pavilion. Phillips has now moved in here. Putting on the finishing touches, every glass wiped, every napkin folded, every bottle perfectly positioned. You're never fully prepared. As, as much as you think you're ready, it's something else kind of pops up. Ready or not, at 5 o'clock, the new Phillips in the power plant building opened for business. Server Marcy Rubin was ready. I'm already on four tables because I am super waitress. After months of planning, construction, and preparation, it was finally time to eat. Or at least to order. Do you have any questions? Do you have any recommendations? The new kitchen is in full view of one of the two dining rooms. So we're just thrilled to be here. The question how would what comes out of that kitchen stack up with the original? How is the crab dip? Is it, does it taste the same as it did before? It tastes a little different just because it's not in the bread. For dessert, there's a new pie made from another Baltimore tradition. They use a whole package of burger cookies on each pie, which is crazy. The Fryer family from Poughkeepsie, New York, makes the five and a half hour drive to Baltimore twice a year. I come down to Baltimore for two reasons. Number one, to see my daughter, and number two, to eat at Phillips. <laughs> Now, the end of that drive has a new destination, a few piers to the east of where it used to be. The food is, is excellent, and the new building is beautiful. Now, one big difference between this new location and the one that was over at the Light Street Pavilion is that there is no all-you-can-eat buffet here. Both of those dining rooms you saw are on the first floor. The second floor, which was used by the ESPN Zone, ESPN Zone is not used for Phillips. The new restaurant seats 330 people inside. Once it gets warm, they'll seat another 200 out here on the deck that is in front of the actual restaurant. So an exciting night for them here in the Inner Harbor. We're live in the Inner Harbor. Christian Schaefer, ABC2 News.